Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video I'm going to talk about quality settings in Velostro and so first of all I'm just going to show you what I mean by quality settings because some people don't understand what this quality level here is actually doing. So this goes from fastest all the way up to fantastic and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop us into the river 2 scene at fastest settings. Let me just apply that. We're going to go into River 2 on fastest settings. We're going to have a look and see what that looks like. So this is the lowest quality setting. So if I just stop myself here and we look into the distance there, what you can see is that there is a pylon here floating in midair. And that kind of looks a bit strange, thinking why is that pylon floating in, in midair? Well, if we get a bit closer, we'll see that actually there are some rocks over here. They didn't get drawn until we got much closer to it. And you can see that it's not until I get really, really close to these rocks, I get really close to them here, it might actually decide to draw one of these rocks at full, full texture quality. I don't think it's going to on fastest no so we're never actually going to see these rocks at their highest quality level in the fastest setting and the reason it's doing that is because it's saving us it's giving us frame rate so by not drawing those rocks and not drawing them at their highest quality level it's it's prioritizing frame rate frames per second over quality of of the visuals if we now turn this all the way up to fantastic so we're now going up if you look at the top here you'll see what quality level we're, we're on if I go all the way up to fantastic you'll see that these rocks are now being drawn even though I'm this far away so I'm now drawing things at a higher quality level with higher quality textures from further away which will quite clearly cost us some frame rate it, we, we will have reduced frame rate now because we're drawing this at a higher quality level and if I go and fly over to these rocks you'll see that the textures on them are now being drawn at their highest quality level so you can see this all looks really pretty now but that is costing me frame rate to draw it that pretty And I can show you that by turning on the FPS counter. So if I hit F12 to turn on the FPS counter, you can see that I'm getting about 320 frames per second at Fantastic. And if I drop all the way down to Fastest, you can see it's gone up to something like 480 frames a second. So you can see how the quality level changes how much frame rate you've got and you can see it with trees as well so if you look at these trees over here you'll see that as I come up in the quality level they start to look nicer if I go and fly over to those trees so let's just get some power on here and fly over to these trees okay stop there you can see there's a lovely shadow, a very detailed shadow for this tree here and there's all shadowing in the leaves of the trees. If I start dropping down you'll see that the trees start getting drawn at lower quality. The shadows are not being drawn for trees that are further away in the distance. So if I go up you can see more shadows are drawn further away. If I come down less shadows are drawn. If I go to fast no shadows are drawn at all so we're not even doing shadows anymore and of course drawing shadows also costs frame rate so that's what quality settings do those are the kind of things they're changing how quickly you see objects in the distance whether they have a shadow what quality of textures are being drawn on them basically how pretty and realistic it all looks is controlled by the quality level so lower quality level means it doesn't look as nice but you get a higher frame rate higher quality level it looks lovely but you get a lower frame rate so that's what the quality level is doing so let's now come out of here and go back to our settings here and look at what sort of control we've got 
for this. So of course we can change our quality level here and we can change it in the scene as well by pressing the D and the E keys. So E is higher quality, D is lower quality. So if you set it here manually and you haven't got auto adjust quality turned on then it will run and it will deliver whatever you've set here unless you press the D or the E key which will allow you to increase or decrease the quality inside of any scene that you're within. You'll also notice here that there's this V-Sync parameter. Now in the last scene you'll notice that as I was increasing the quality level and decreasing the quality level my frame rate was changing. And that's because with V-Sync off your frame rate is not locked to your monitor refresh rate. So as it says here it, if I'm on V-Sync you can see in the description you'll see the description down the bottom here if I put it over V-Sync it says enable to sync the frame rate with the monitor refresh rate so if your monitor is 60 Hertz then you turn this on and your sim will run at 60 Hertz which is 60 frames per second if you've got a 144 Hertz monitor and you turn this on then your sim will run at 144 frames per second so that's what V-Sync does so if you have got a graphics card and you don't like the fact that it's being run really 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 hard and its fans are on all the time when you're playing Velocidrone then one way to fix that is to turn off v -Sync, turn on V-Sync because as soon as you turn on V-Sync to true it's now only going to try and run at whatever your monitor refresh rate is rather than trying to run as fast as it possibly can so we can demonstrate that so if we just apply these settings and I go back into the River 2 scene. Ready to race. When I turn on FPS, you can see I have a 60 hertz monitor. My frame rate is at 60. And if I turn the quality all the way up to fantastic, I'm still only going at 60 frames a second. My graphics card is only having to draw this scene at 60 frames a second. So its fans aren't going to be running as fast as they can go it's not going to be a hundred percent utilized as a graphics card it's going to be having a fairly easy time running at 60 frames a second and it doesn't matter whether I run at beautiful or whether I run at fast it's going to try and run at my monitor refresh rate which is 60 frames a second so that's what V-Sync does if we come out of here again and we go back into the settings and I turn VSync off, you'll notice that this minimum FPS setting appears. Now minimum FPS is related to auto adjust quality which is currently turned off. So this setting is generally ignored if auto adjust quality is turned off. If you turn auto adjust quality on then this parameter minimum FPS now comes into play. So if I turn it on what this is now saying is that I want the sim to automatically adjust the quality and make sure that it always delivers this minimum frames per second, 400. So let's now go back into the scene. Apply those settings, we'll go back into the scene. And I want you to look at the top of the screen here where it will tell me my quality setting. Raise. So if I turn on this, you can see it's at fast at the moment. It's already gone to simple. It's now gone to good. You can see my frame rate is still above a 400 here. It's gone to beautiful. And now I'm kind of around 400. It's gone to fantastic. And I'm not quite hitting 400, but I'm within the margin of error that it's prepared to accept because when you're running with V-Sync off you will get some fluctuations as you fly around depending on how much detail is in this background scene so at the moment I'm just looking at some rocks and a few trees in the distance so this isn't a particularly difficult screen to render at the moment and I'm oh it's actually decided no that was a bit too much and dropped down to beautiful and now my frame rate is sitting around 400 so it's, it's happy at this point. If I now start to fly and I go somewhere where there is more detail, so if I go and fly over near those trees and get it drawing the trees in detail with shadow and all that kind of stuff, 
So we can already see if I stop myself here. Actually, we're not too bad here. It did actually drop my frame rate down just now. I saw it drop to good or simple, I think. So let's just get a bit closer. Go there. Okay, we can see it has actually dropped to simple then. And we're only getting 396. It's now dropped to fast. And we've now bumped back up over 400. We're quite a bit over 400. This might be enough that it thinks actually I could go back up to simple again. It may not be. It may sit here. But as you can see, it's all the time it's looking at what's going on with your with your FPS and it's adjusting the quality to try to make sure you always get 400. So if I bring the throttle up again and I look down here, come down here, it's probably going to start bumping my my uh, quality level up again possibly if I play around down here. It's quite a clever algorithm because what it will do is uh, it will sometimes say actually I've played around with the settings and I've noticed that in this scene I wasn't able to get 400 frames per second and it will actually say no I'm not going to change it because I don't want to keep fiddling with the user's quality settings so it will kind of go up and down but then it won't go up again because it knows that at that level it wasn't able to at a higher level it wasn't able to achieve 400 frames per second and that is actually what's happened here it's actually worked out that when I flew over to those trees earlier and it really couldn't deliver 400 it had to drop my settings quite a lot so now it's saying actually I won't put those back up again because I know that in places in this scene I can't deliver that frame rate so it's it's quite an intelligent algorithm that it uses to decide where it's going to set your quality but I can actually force this to go down again so if I go over here under these trees can probably with a bit of effort if I get in here where it's really complicated there it's now dropped down to fastest so it's now good it's now on the fastest quality setting it's got and I'm still not getting 400 frames a second here amongst these trees so it's now giving me the warning reduce resolution frame rate warning reduce resolution and all this is saying is that I've set 400 frames a second and it can't make it. It really can't make that. And so it's saying, well, if you want 400 in here, you're going to have to reduce your resolution in order to get that because I can't do it by reducing the quality level of the scene. So that's what that warning actually means. And if I come away from this area, you'll see those warnings will now disappear because my frame rate has popped back up over 400 but it's it's very unlikely that this is going to pop me up above the fastest setting now because it knows that in this scene there are areas where it just can't make the 400 frames per second that I set and so it's now quite happy sitting at fastest and staying there so that's how auto adjust quality works it tries to give you the best quality settings it can for whatever scene you're in it monitors it all the time and it will adjust the quality up or down and then it will find a point where it says actually this is about right for this scene I'm not going to play with it anymore and if I was to change to another scene this would all kick off again so if I was to come out of here I just turn this, this off so if I was to go to empty scene day which is a really really easy scene to render much easier than river 2 we're going to jump into that scene at the Ready fastest wait. setting and already it's pop popped me up to fast and now we're up to simple now we're up to good now we're up to beautiful 
and we're up to fantastic and it's still happy at fantastic and if I actually bring up the FPS monitor here let's just do that you can see I'm getting over 500 frames a second in here 450, 500 it's never hitting the situation where it thinks to itself actually I need to drop the quality settings down it's never going below 400 so we're going to fly around in this scene at the highest quality settings because we're meeting the specification that I set of 400 frames per second okay so that's how auto adjust quality works and what it does in order to control your resolution to deliver what you've asked it to deliver uh, I don't tend to use auto adjust quality I I've got a big powerful card so I just tend to turn this off set the quality level to whatever I I like then I set this to 9999 to make sure that it just ignores it completely minimum FPS um, I have vsync off and I set my graphics rendering type to deferred so for a big powerful machine these are the settings as long as you don't mind your graphics card being run as as fast as it can go these are the settings for a big powerful machine to deliver maximum frame rate and for you to just control what quality setting you want you can set this wherever you like um, for your particular machine and then turn on whatever quality settings you know you want to use um, the rendering type here deferred if you've got a big powerful machine deferred is a much better option if you've got a very low powered machine then forward rendering is a better option so for those people with GTX 1080s and 2080s and those, that sort of thing you should be using graphics type deferred okay that's it and I'll see you on the next video